So I had a video that I, I was actually going to play last time you were on, but I, I forgot about it. It's uh, it's someone responding oh, cool. to you. I'm sure they're going to be uh, arguing in good faith. Oh, absolutely. Um, are, are you interested in watching this? This is from a, a user named Combat Wombat. You know, I actually thought about making a response video to this, but then I didn't. Um, and I actually have a lot to say about this uh, Michael, now that it... you bring it up. So, yeah, I, I guess we could we could get into it. Uh, there is actually... Yeah, I'll, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll get to it. But that... Combat Wombat is actually somebody who is uh, pro-life. He, he is anti-abortion. Jesus. Um, he also he's also of the mindset that like if a trans person is a bad person, it's acceptable to uh, you know miss pronouns, which just goes to show that like somebody like Combat Wombat doesn't actually view a, like a trans woman as a woman. He just it's a matter of yeah. like courtesy to him. Yeah, a lot of people on the right do that. It's a, oh, yeah, I'll respect your pronouns as long as I like you as a person. But, yeah, no, they, they don't actually respect trans people. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's watch this uh, abomination. Yeah, let's watch this fucking furry blather on about my video. We're gonna speed him up. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. So, a fellow YouTuber who I've actually interacted with a bit over the years made a video recently about GTA 5. This YouTuber is Swagta, who made a video titled Transphobia in GTA 5. Swagta. First things first, I have nothing against Swagta. Like I said, I've talked to him a few times, and he's a really <laughs> cool individual. He actually does, uh, pause. So, this video is heavily, um, he, the, the editing is, is very fucking deceptive. He actually excludes a lot of relevant details that I put in the video and some shit that I said. So, yeah, this is not in good faith at all. Um, he doesn't have any fucking respect for me. This video was just made so that he could join in on the dogpiling. Damn. Uh, you know, and when I actually talked to him privately about this, and I was, like, trying to be courteous about it and be fucking cool and just be like, hey, here's my problem with your video... He was just like a total fucking asshole in private. Just like a total piece of shit. Damn. Um, and I told him like, hey, you know, the, the way you edited this video was really fucking misleading and deceptive. Uh, and he flat out denied it, got really defensive and eventually got aggressive. And then, you know, after that, after shit cools down, he, he, he just, you know, he just tweets at me casually, you know, and just like tries to pal up again. Just yeah. like, what am I supposed to do? Just, like, forget this shit and forget what a piece of fucking shit you were in private? Fuck you. Yeah, fuck that. You shit. fucking Barney the dinosaur sounding fuck. <laughs> you fucking dumbass. You fucking... F I, okay, you know what? I was actually going to say furry piece of shit, but, you know, furries actually deserve more atten more respect than you do. Yeah, that's true. You're a fucking anti... You're a fucking, like, sexist piece of fucking shit. So fuck you, and fuck your video, and fuck your dumbass fucking fans that you send to fucking harass me. You didn't explicitly tell them to do that, but your, your video fucking caused it. And you, you had no fucking issue with, with uh, the aftermath of that. You had no fucking issue with the backlash that I was getting, and the fact that you were just exacerbating the shit that I was going through, especially like at a fucking vulnerable point in my life. You don't give a fuck about other people. The only thing you give a fuck about is just like online drama. And coming out on top, yeah. you're a fucking coward. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's see what else this fucking ass kissing piece of fucking backstabbing piece of shit has to say. All right. He also makes really good videos, but I think he makes a lot he of does. silly. Yeah, I do better than video, your fucking really content. I'm not making this video. Why don't you suck my like dick, motherfucker? <laughs> Hell yeah. I definitely don't want anyone going from this video over to his and talking shit. I'm just voicing my mm -hmm. opinions on him. That totally didn't happen oh, okay, at all. Okay, yeah, to yeah, totally covering your ass on this. You don't want people to attack me, but you're willing to put up a deceptively edited video, and then when I confront you about it privately, you act like a huge fucking dick about it. Yeah, but you, you know, you, you totally have good intentions. You know, you're just I'm a sure. fucking ass kisser. That's really what the fuck you are his video with a little banter as the cool kids would call it without further a shit let's dive into the video I know yeah banter i, uh, I call it funny. smearing i call it misrepresentation and lying but you know it's a banter it's just it's just banter yeah also without further a shit what really i don't know like he he does this like fucking really annoying commentary shit where like every other line has to be some really shitty uh you know wit 
completely I, devoid of anything funny. It's just, it's, it's lol, it's lol random at fucking best. It's like fucking yeah. 2008 internet humor. Yeah. Highly divisive video for my audience because like many people on YouTube, like many content creators on here, um, I have an audience that spans all across the political spectrum. And that being the case, I know a lot of you saw the title of this video, clicked on it, and now you're just kind of like, the f politics and my video games re right off the bat painting anyone who is going to inevitably disagree with this video as reing is not a good start. no i didn't do I've that okay section, here's the thing you dishonest fucking pile of oh, god yeah sorry you're, go ahead. you're such a fucking piece of shit you know that yeah like because right off the bat in the video i said like a lot of people not all people and i said you know i have an audience that's yeah. across the political spectrum and I, you know the video is going to be divisive what I'm fucking saying there, you stupid fuck, is that people are gonna have all kinds of different opinions on yeah. the video, and I'm acknowledging that beforehand. A and you are so, like, also right. I'm doing the right. fucking opposite of what. Yeah, I, I was totally fucking right too. Yeah. People did jump to conclusions. <laughs> Literally. Not, and I, you know, I, I did the opposite of what the fuck he's accusing me of doing. Like he, seconds into this video, and immediately it's just like factually wrong. It's just totally inaccurate. That this is your brain on conservatism, fam. <laughs> and, and this is like, this video, this motherfucker scripts his videos too. So like, imagine just like extemporaneously how fucking bad he'd Damn. do it responding to a video. Yeah, yo, you're, you're, you, you script your videos and, and, and damn. That, that, I don't script my videos and my content. He writes his shit. videos, but then like, you know, two seconds into it, it's like immediately wrong. Yeah, Jesus counterpoints to your video. Also, it's really not an issue of keeping politics out of video games, because as you go on to say... Even though we're talking about Grand Theft Auto, a highly political game which consists of social commentary left and right at, like, all times. GTA is constantly political and has a ton of social commentary, so it's reasonable... Yeah, the point I'm fucking making there, dumbass, is that there are people who claim that, like, games like GTA get political when they have... when they make fun of, like, yeah. any group that they don't... Uh, that they actually like. Or that, you know... Um, if GTA were to have, like, better representation or, like, you know, maybe have some fucking, you know, jokes about trans people that aren't from, like, the fucking 60s. Yeah. You know, if they had some, like, better fucking comedic writing in that area. It, it's, it, like, if they have that, you know, all of a sudden they're getting political. No, they're not. The point I'm making, you fucking imbecile, is that GTA is a political game. So, like, you're not even fucking disagreeing with me. You're so fucking stupid that you don't even realize we're on the same page. Yeah. Uh, again, that, that's your moron. brain on conservatism, yo. Talk about politics when talking about GTA. It's a big part of the games. It's not reasonable, though, to paint the game as transphobic. We'll get into that. Initially, this video was going to consist of me comparing LGBTQ plus representation in games by Rockstar way back then versus now. You know, just to kind of like highlight how it's it's maturing and it's actually getting better and better. I don't mean better in the sense that, you know, there, there's like less you know crude jokes. I mean better in the sense that there's depth to a lot of the characters now. Jesus, this, this person put ads all over their videos. Okay. And that's really all that is, too. Like, it's just, you know, getting quick attention. Because he noticed that, like, I was getting a huge backlash for that video. So he chimes in, makes this fucking really misleading response video, and just capitalizes on that. Yep. And like I said, Damn. this fucking occurred in a, in a really fucking bad point in my life. So it's not like this motherfucker gave a shit about me. It's not like he fucking... No, he he just took advantage of the situation I was dealing with. Damn, I, I I'm your friend. I I, I should have done that too, yo. I I could have capitalized <laughs> on the on on the swag <laughs> drama. Who knows where I could be now? Like I could be a I could be a, a, a giant right wing grifter by now. Yeah, you could have had like an ostentatious mansion in Beverly Hills. Yeah, yo. Damn, I, I made the wrong choice. Clearly. That would have been a pretty interesting video, and probably a better one. I'm not saying you can't criticize GTA V. I think that game sucks. Honestly, it would have it would have been an interesting video, but it would have been an incomplete one, and that's clearly why you didn't make it. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna tackle this before I approach that at some point. Yeah. Unpopular opinion, I know. But the criticism here is oof. They're not just like limp wristed, horny gay guys who are just like, hey. I mean, like that occasionally pops up in you know like the Ballad of Gay Tony, but even a character like Gay Tony has a bit more to him than. Be being a walking punchline. I agree. Gay Tony's character wasn't really focused on the fact that he was gay. Sure, they made jokes about it and he was a bit stereotyped, but he wasn't a walking punchline. This is because he was a big character in that game. If he was a minor, less important Okay, character, okay, so Rockstar like the, the fucking point I'm making there, and again, he's so fucking moronic that he can't even like tell what I'm saying. 
Even though, like, he edited this video and recorded a commentary and, like, you know, read a fucking script. Um, I guarantee you, like, 99% of the shit he says is just, you know, shit that he's typed in notepad or some shit. Um, but the fucking point that I made there is that, you know, a, a character like Gay Tony is not just, like, a stereotype or a character. That's the point I'm making. Not that, like, him being gay is not the focus. Uh, his name is Gay Tony, you stupid fuck. How is him being gay not a focus point? Yeah. He runs, a, he runs like, a, you know, the most popular gay fucking nightclub in Liberty City. Throughout the story, he, like, deals with, like, relationship issues with his boyfriend. And, like, you know, exes and shit. So, yeah, him being gay is a fucking point, point of focus in the game. Like, you're just fucking wrong. You don't even understand what I'm saying. You don't understand the game you're fucking talking about. You, you fucking, you know, it's actually apropos, or like, sorry, it's, it's totally appropriate um, that you have, like, this, this wombat as your avatar, because wombats are fucking stupid as shit. <laughs> yeah. That, that is true, yeah. Damn. Well, maybe it's a spirit animal. I don't know. It may look like he wants to fuck him. That's probably it. Yeah, who, who knows? Spends all day me. jerking off to it. Made him a complete stereotype. Hey, like, hey, he's GTA. fucking misrepresenting me, so I might as well go ahead and do it too. Turnabout's fair play, motherfucker. What? Well, why not? In that game, if he was a minor, less important character, Rockstar probably would have gone all in and just made him a complete stereotype. It's GTA. That's just the humor they have, as you know. I wish I could say the same for trans people in GTA 5, but upon doing research for this video, I found that there's really no good representation at all. It's all bad. And I mean, it's all bad. All of it. Every single even reference to trans people amounts to little more than like, ha ha ha, man in dress. Well, no group of people that GTA makes fun of is really shown positively. It's usually all negative stereotypes and really easy bottom No, 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 no. See, you're just, That's again, you're just wrong about that. Like, Okay, imagine imagine if like you know we replaced trans with just like African American. Yeah. So you know when when it comes to like the TV ad where there's like a T slur, imagine if that was just like the N word and that was like the punchline, uh, or imagine like you know if every single black person in the game just like you know they loved fucking watermelon and chicken and they just they speak like you know they speak like in fucking uh, slang and nothing else. Like there's no depth to any of these characters. Like, yeah, they make fun of, like, black culture. They make fun of, like, white people and all that. But, you know, it, it's not limited to, like, fucking slurs or, like, you know, um, characters. Yeah. That's the fucking point I'm making. There's actual nuance to a lot of the humor. This this feels like a 12-year-old's understanding of, of these games where it's like, haha, well, see, they make fun of these people. It's about me. I mean, he really does people. have the fucking mentality of a child, if you think about it. Yeah. Like, 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 what, what, why, why can't we be really mean and, and, and bigoted and, and like, what, what's wrong with bigotry? It's, it's funny. What? <laughs> Jesus. Jokes about them. This goes for all races and hey, groups of people. Why don't you make another just... video where you fucking talk about taking away the, the rights of women, you fuck? Damn. <clears throat> yeah, we, we, See... we could attack that too. Yeah, we could, there's, there's an old, I'll, I could find it. There's probably, you know, I don't know if he deleted it, but there I know there's at least one video where he actually um, compares abortion to, like, killing kids. Jesus. I mean, they all do that, unfortunately. Care who it makes fun of. Hello, sir, or I mean, madam, or whatever. That's an actual line by Michael DeSanta, by the way. Fun fact, at least two of the three main protagonists in GTA 5 intentionally misgender transgender pedestrians. Yeah, the protagonists in GTA aren't nice people. They're complete wieners to pretty much everyone. Okay, I... here, here's the point I'm making, though. There's a fucking button assigned to, like, interacting with pedestrians in the game. So imagine, again, if you applied this to, like, black people. Imagine, like, if you just walked up to, like, a black person in the game and you press, like, the left fucking, uh, num uh, fucking, you know, pad button, whatever. I don't know what it's called, but, you, you know, like, one of the fucking buttons on the controller <clears throat> and you made, like, a racist remark and yeah. that was just, like, a feature. And it's like, yeah, well, you know, they're bad people. <laughs> Yeah, it's what? like well, there's no fuck, there's no necessity for that though. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm getting at. It does, it does, like this mechanic has no fucking benefit. There, there. All it does is is appeal to people who actually harbor bigoted views. Yeah, and and there's plenty of uh, of stories, video games, movies, TV shows that depict bad people, uh, without glorifying bigoted attitudes. Like, yeah, it's like fucking, like, if you watch, like, Scarface, I mean, like, Tony Montana is not a good fucking person. 
And the film makes that clear, even though, like, he's the protagonist. And, and the way they make that clear is, like, they, they show that there's actual, like, errors in his behavior. He doesn't just yeah. go, go around, like, fucking people over. Yeah. The fact that he, like... I'm not gonna spoil it, whatever. Um, but, it you know, like, movie. his actions actually have consequences. I'll put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. You can go around fat shaming people as Trevor. Oh, come on! Where's your sense of humor? Did you eat it? My god, you're massive. I mean, you're the size of a house. I love I love that argument too. It's like, oh, but th there's fat shaming. They're they're not just transphobic, they're also fat phobic, see? So and that's a defense. <laughs> that's a def like that that that's something else that should maybe be called out. Like what what is that? Like I feel like that just makes it worse, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> It, it, it th thank you for pointing out another area that Rockstar needs to work on. They're fucking fat shaming. That's that's kind of gross. GTA 5 is fat phobic. That's a real term, by the way. I really wish I was joking. In Wh why do you wish you were joking? Wait, uh, like, yeah, how? Wait, it's, clearly it's, says someone wait, who so... has never uh, been uh, experienced fat phobia or known or loved someone who's experienced fat phobia. Fuck you. And also, like. How would it not be a real thing? Like, people have prejudices against, like, all kinds of people. So, yeah, naturally, there's going to be a term for, like, when, you know, you harbor, uh, you know, hatred towards people who are just, like, fat. Imagine, I mean, imagine being so sheltered that you're like, what? There's people who don't like this group? Why is this a thing? Like, oh my god, go, go touch I mean, grass, to, motherfucker. Go to, out to in the real what world. Detriment. To what fucking detriment? Like the term fat phobia has has not caused any any fucking harm. Yes, if it anything, has. it because we can't it, joke. We we can't make a, a juvenile fucking uh, jokes about fat people like like twelve year olds. God forbid you expand your vocabulary, you fucking idiot. I know that that's the same thing I I say to people who like hardcore defend use of the R word. Where I'm just like, you know. I get you wanting to be able to express yourself, but God forbid you learn to fucking expand your vocabulary, actually learn some new words, uh, 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 you know, some instead of the, the, the same old words you've been using since you were on the fucking playground, you know? I mean, this is the type of fucking person who would probably, I don't know, I, I'll say probably, I don't know for certain, I'll put it that way, I'll give him a little bit of benefit of the doubt um, for the sake of argument, but... You know, it's like, this is the type of mentality, I mean, that looks at, you know, where, like, a person will look at a word, like, heteronormative, and they'll just, like, reject anything you say because to them, the word heteronormative just sounds woke. Yeah. It, it's like, it, the, the definition actually applies. Yeah. And when it, it comes to fat phobia, like, that's a real thing that exists. Yeah. Like, what's the problem? Like, and so does transphobia. Yeah, there's a there's a term for something that actually happens. H how's that a bad thing? Isn't that just like a, a fucking uh, natural occurrence based on the fact that like you know this is a thing that exists? Like the fact that we have a uh, you know the fact that like there's a word for racism. It's it's the same fucking thing. Racism <coughs> exists, therefore we have a term for it. What racism doesn't exist? Th this is the most equal country. The, the <laughs> Jesus. The American dream. God fucking damn. I don't know, fam. It's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. True. Me. And I assume that these pedestrians are trans because they're being misgendered, they're being called mid-op, they're being told to take more hormones. You know, it's kind of obvious what's being implied there. Hello, sir. I mean, madam. I mean, whatever. Well, hello, mid-op. Hey, you need to keep taking your hormones. You might need a few more hours, dog. Almost fool me, bro. <laughs> Almost. Not problematic at all. What? Not like Jesus fucking Christ. And again, it's easy to not see how this is a problem if you've never experienced fucking transphobia. By the way, I I get shit like that. I get people harassing me on the street. I get people yelling at me in the street that I'll never be a woman. That that, that I'm just going about my day, living my fucking life. Some fucking dipshit fucking honk at me and yell, you'll never be a woman. People fucking giving me dirty looks in public. People, people laughing at me with their buddies. Hey, 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 look at the fucking tranny over there. Like, 
it, 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 it's so easy to not see this shit as problematic if you've never had to experience it and you've never seen people experience it. But yes, this shit is real and it gets reinforced by 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 media when 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 you put this stuff in media and make it OK and and, and make it things that, that that characters that you're supposed to look up to are, are, are doing, you're 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 normalizing it in society. You're normalizing that shit. You're normalizing the kind of people who think it's okay to fucking yell at a trans woman and harass her in fucking public. That's the fucking issue here, motherfucker. I actually don't think these characters are necessarily meant to be transgender. I think they're just men dressed in drag. The director mode for that that's another Okay, and and again, I, again, you just played a clip where I'm like specifically saying, hey, it's pretty obvious what's being implied there. And then, you know, that's what I'm fucking responding to, what's being implied. Yeah, but like the but like I'm not I'm not stating that like I know for a fact these characters are trans. I'm just saying like based on the fucking dialogue. Yeah. That's the inference I'm I'm going to fucking have. Cuz okay, you can say okay, well they might be drag queens, but then a, the, your character is still using transphobic rhetoric towards them. Also, if they are drag queens, then it's disrespectful to both trans women and drag queens. Um because like like the, the the protagonists um sorry oh uh sorry i had something written here um yeah one of the biggest defenses oh the protagonists are just bad people like maybe this would be a, a defensible uh, uh defense of the game if the game went out of its way to shame their characters for that behavior specifically but like it it, it blurs the line when when it goes from like um um When it goes from being a bad thing, your character has the option to do, or, or, or is in service of a larger plot. When when it's simply just bigotry for the sake of bigotry, like nothing being said, just 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 bigotry, just like ha ha lol fucking trans woman ha ha lol man in dress, okay. And 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 because and by the way, yeah, because like that reinforces stereotypes that like uh uh all trans women are sex workers or all trans women are drag queens or uh, people don't know the difference between trans women and drag queens and that's part of the problem like yeah the problem is not that, like my issue with GTA 5 and Rockstar it's not that they make fun of trans people it's that the humor doesn't go beyond the same basic fucking overdone transphobic jokes we've yeah. we've seen so many times yeah, it's, like, it's just blatant transphobia and nothing else. And there's no trans characters that are depicted positively or that are just there or, or, or that aren't a joke. Like, it's fine. Have characters that, 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 that you're an asshole to, but, like, have characters all... Like, if you want to have characters that are memes or whatever, fine. But then if, if that's the only representation for gender nonconforming people, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Because that paints all gender non-conforming people as that. <coughs> and also, like, uh, uh, reinforces uh, uh, bigoted attitudes towards them. So, yeah, fuck off. GTA 5, where you can select different NPCs to run around as, even calls them drag queens. And they're under the male category. A lot of them have chest hair and their big old balls showing. Which is suggesting that they're men dressed in drag. Drag queens aren't necessarily always... Okay, wait, hold on. So, like, if you have balls, that's... you're a man. Okay. Yeah, bit, bit mask off there again, okay. uh, like like that again. Pro kind of the point, all right. That you're saying this couldn't be a woman, because not every woman passes well. Not every trans woman passes super well yet, and like, and that's the other thing. There's no. Why aren't there any trans women in this game that pass well? Because yes, we do exist. Hi, I'm a trans woman. I don't. I'm not, I don't pass the greatest. You know, without doing a bit of makeup first. But like, hi. I, I'm I, I'm a woman. I look pretty much like I look pretty femme, right? I got tits. Like like like. Why why am I not represented in this game? Why is it just drag queens or people who just don't pass at all? Like that's the problem. It's 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 these characters are clearly the butt of a joke and nothing more. There's no depth to it. And, 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 and that doesn't make it more immersive. It makes it more, it, it just, it makes it more jarring, honestly.
Oh, and by the way, all of this shit was actually removed in uh, you know, the the new release. So Based. I win. <laughs> Based. You fucking bitch. Based. Yeah. No wonder this motherfucker has a problem with abortion. Right. I feel like aborted fetuses have like twice the amount of brains that this motherfucker has. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. Th this dude's ma just mad because uh, even Rockstar agreed with Swegta. Rockstar saw Swegta's video and they were like, yeah, yeah, okay, he's got a point. May maybe we could... Uh... Ha actually, w w what do you think is the is the chance that, that they did actually see your video? Um, okay, so here's the thing. People actually talked a bit about this years before I made my video. Then I made my video, and it just totally reignited the discussion. And shortly following that, they remove it from the game. So I actually, I take credit. I'm glad that Damn I removed right. this shit from your precious little fucking video game, you fucking dork. Yep. Hell, hell I win. Yeah. You can, so I win. You can suck my dick when I'm done roasting your fucking dumbass. <laughs> Damn right. Swagta is officially credited as uh, uh, being the cause of, of homophobia and transphobia being removed from GTA. What up, Combat Wombat? How, 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 how's your uh, uh, shitty fucking uh, uh, ill-constructed video uh, uh, holding up now? Hell yeah. And their big old bowel showing, which is suggesting that they're men dressed in drag. Drag queens aren't necessarily always transgender. I mean, they could be transgender, I guess, and maybe Rockstar was making fun of both groups at once. You also have stuff like, again, which is a problem. Casual tea slur being used in the game in one of the ads, like, hey, this tea slur is watching you take a sh ka ka poo poo pee pee tea slur, haha. Yeah, it doesn't shock me that Rockstar threw a joke like that in there. They throw all kinds of jokes at all kinds of people. I'm wondering uh, why you're. Okay, no, hey, so, no, no, no. Would again, it not shock you? this to look. Imagine if they did this with the N word, yeah. though. Like if they did this with any other fucking slur. But that's the thing: people like this don't view that as a slur, and they don't view trans people as a protected class. They're they're just like you know, they 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 don't care. But it's like yeah, like it it is kind of analogous to calling a black person the N word. And I mean, goddamn, I can show you centuries of historical oppression towards fucking trans and gay people. All right. Like 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 systematic fucking homophobia and transphobia that is that is that is persisted and been codified into law. And, and, and these slurs uh, re reinforce these attitudes. That, that's the same reason why we don't use the N word anymore, because we, we as a society look and say, like, yeah, that reinforces racist white supremacist attitudes that are still uh, uh, prevalent within our society. And that's why we don't use fucking slurs. True. You're specifically upset about the transgender and drag jokes. Yeah, they're offensive, but that's the point. The thing that upset me is not just the fact that they made fun of trans people, because, you know, like, you know, Rockstar is an equal offender. They make fun of all aspects of our culture and social life. Well, slap my titties and call me a Pac-Man enthusiast. He said it. Yeah, they do make fun of pretty much everyone. So I'm still wondering when you're going to explain why GTA 5 is trans. Okay, how about you, you literally listen? Did. You arrogant fuck. How about you listen for, like, five fucking seconds? Yeah. God, I'm you're so... Fucking moronic! You can't even like like l allow a video to play for more than like a couple nanoseconds before you jump in. And you're like, okay, so then what? The it's like I, I go on to address this. Yeah. All this is is just like you padding out the video so you can put multiple ads on it. That's all the fuck this is. Yeah, basically. And not every other phobic and ist in the world. Either it's okay to make fun of everybody, or it's not okay to make fun of anyone. It's a little silly to handpick. I. <clears throat> it depends on how you make fun of people, yeah. though. That's what it comes down to. Like, comedians can fucking poke fun at, you know, black culture and shit. But if a comedian j goes up on stage and he's like, hey, guys, N-word. Yeah. You know, and he actually says it. And that's it. That's the whole fucking joke. And there's nothing else to it. He doesn't even, like, talk about the attitude surrounding the word or anything like that. He j it's just shock value and that's it. That's a fucking shitty stand-up set, in my opinion. And I think that that person should probably fucking, you know, work on their material a bit. Likewise, I think Rockstar has the ability to write better fucking jokes because they actually have very talented writers. So they should apply that same talent across the fucking field, across the board. That's my expectation. I just, I want fucking better comedic writing in the game. Yeah. And see, this is, this is a thing, and I've talked about this before. 
th this is the problem with with the the w what the right has done to comedy. The right has ruined comedy. They'll say that the left ruined comedy, but no, the right ruined comedy by pushing this idea that like, oh, you should be able to make jokes about anything, which is true. But like, they use that argument to defend terrible jokes that aren't funny and 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 that aren't in service of anything, and and that are just lazy fucking twelve year old caca poo poo pee pee uh uh humor, you know. And, and, and it's like all like like all these fucking conservative dipshits think they're comedians because they because they use T slurs. But it's like that that's not what comedy is, motherfucker. Com real comedians, real comedians hold themselves to a higher fucking standard than that. Real co a real comedian won't just get on stage and go hey, hey, man in dress. lol. I mean, not anymore because they realize like, yeah, that you, 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 you got to actually be saying something with a joke or it's not going to be funny it's not going to be subversive and people aren't going to be impressed um, except for fucking teenagers and if that's all you're trying to appeal to then fucking fine and if that's what you're trying to defend the the the, the ability for teenagers to make bad jokes that aren't funny and to laugh at them fine I, I i have no problem with that but but in broader society in our in our culture in in the things that we put into our art into our media that is consumed and that does influence people's behaviors and attitudes yes we should have higher standards yes we should want better we should want our media to be better that's why uh, uh, people criticize. That's why critics exist in the first place, to point out areas where 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 art can be better. There's Why don't you fucking like comment? How about you fucking go ahead and defend blackface while you're at it? You know, like yeah, they should add that in GTA Six because hey, they make fun of everybody, right? Yeah, what? Well, it's just a joke. He, he probably would. He'd be like, whoa, whoa, what's the problem with having blackface? I, I wouldn't see the problem with that. What? They're bad people. It's just a joke. I want to... Jesus. You know what? Combat Wombat, I'm going to go ahead and say it. You should have been fucking aborted. I feel like you're <laughs> fucking living proof of the fact that abortion should remain legal. Damn. Damn. I don't necessarily go that far, but... uh, uh, uh... uh I'm going to go that far. <laughs> Fuck this piece of shit. Uh, the thoughts and opinions of Swegta do not represent Lady Hopium. <laughs> yeah, I Which speak for myself. I, I don't speak for uh, Emily. Hell yeah. Groups of people are okay to make fun of, and which are off limits. So really, it should be fair game, right? You know, that, that should be the case. They make fun of all of us. You know, I'm an atheist. They made fun of atheism. I didn't get on camera and cry about it. Why not? They made fun of you. Did they ever show a positive sign to atheists, or just make a joke about them at their expense? I'm s- Did- You know? Jesus. I actually don't know. Did they ever make positive jokes about atheism? Um, I don't feel like they've made positive jokes about it, but, like, they've poked fun at, like, Dawkins. I mean, you know, shit like that. I mean, who doesn't um, poke but fun it's, at Dawkins, it, especially these days? He's yeah. a kind of kind of a joke now. But like, they probably poke fun at religious people too, which is, it makes it more. Oh, like, definitely. Yeah. I mean, like they they poke fun at religion way more than uh, you know secular people. Yeah. So like, poking fun at atheism was probably just to even out the board a bit and be like, okay, yeah, let's poke fun at atheists too. Like, like it's 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 the South Park technique, which, by the way, yeah, like I, I, even South Park is a good example of, of a show that will make fun of anything, but at least tries to do so responsibly from time to time. Like, I don't love like, their past uh, 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 depictions of trans shit with Mrs. Garrison. That was fucking horrible. But their newer shit, you know, with the trans bathroom episode was pretty fucking good. You know, their uh, uh, trans athlete episode was woefully misinformed, but it had good intentions and tried to be responsible and and they still make fun of anything they're still irreverent assholes and they're still pretty fucking funny and they still offend me from time to time but i still watch them it's it's about it's about fucking finding that fine line and 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 not crossing it not crossing the line yeah. into outright bigotry and hate yeah see the the thing that he just keeps missing is like it's not about who they make fun of it's how they make fun of people yeah because 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 and, and that's the thing mo most of these right-wing dipshits don't get it, it yes you can make fun of anything but but you have to be saying something with the jokes you make like otherwise it's just juvenile like anyone can yeah, go and, up and, to anyone can, thing, like, anyone can go up to a fat person and be like <laughs> fat like that's not exactly genius comedy you know yeah, and the thing is, too, like, you don't have to, like, you know, make, like, any kind of cerebral joke. 
I feel like a good example would be, uh, you know, wordplay, like, yeah. you know, Carlin did. There's like a, you know, a short joke that he did at one point where uh, he said, like, you know, if you have, if you have a friend who has a gay son and he gets into a, a car accident and he's paralyzed or like, in, you know, in a coma, you could always comfort, you know, the, the grieving family by saying, well, look at it this way. He used to be a fruit. Now he's a vegetable. At least he's still in the produce section. <laughs> you know, that's like... A pretty fucking innocent joke, but yeah. there's like dark subject matter yeah. there, and the like, you know, that, homosexuality is like at the center of the joke, but it's not, ha ha, gay people fucking weird and gross. It's you know, it's a wordplay. Yeah. Uh, by by the way, someone in the chat asked, are there any transgender uh, uh, jokes that are tasteful? I I haven't seen many, but you know what? I'm working on some. I'm working on some. I've told y'all before. I'm 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 working on. Di I'm gonna dip my toe into a stand-up comedy here soon, and um I'm I'm writing a, a bunch of jokes about being trans, and uh, because I think if 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 jokes about trans people are gonna exist, I think trans people should tell them. Just like if uh, you know, it's more acceptable for black people to make fun of the black community than than for a white. I mean, white comedians can, but like, if that's all you do, that's a little bit weird. And 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 if you do do it, you gotta be careful to not be racist. Um. So yeah, I'm 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 definitely gonna uh, throw my hat in the ring and 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 try to come up with some funny material about being trans. I'm 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 actually working on uh, on a, a a web series as well uh, 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 about a, a, a trans character, and and it's it's meant to be a, a comedic. So yeah, it's. We, we need more of it. We, we need more of it. it. It can be done, guys. It just takes work to write funny jokes, all right? It, and and pull, pulling real gold... Like, it's... it's You're never going to pull, like, real gold out of your ass just, just uh, uh, being lazy and juvenile, all right? It's almost like comedy has to be refined as time progresses, huh? Yeah. It's almost like it's an art form, and it's, and it's a, a craft that involves, like, dedication and effort... You know, rather than just being offensive for the sake of being offensive. Or, you know, recycling the same jokes that have, you know, been on screen like fucking, you know, 60 years ago. Ha ha, attack helicopter, lol. Yeah. TA5 is atheist. -ist. Please leave a like on this video for that shitty joke to make me feel better about myself. Thanks, pumpkin. Here's no, a I'm going to leave a dislike on this video. <clears throat> Because you don't deserve to feel better about yourself. Nothing about this video, uh, uh, is deserving of you feeling good. All right, you you should you you should feel bad about this video. I'm sorry. You should feel ashamed for being so stupid. <laughs> I feel. Yeah. I mean, I know you're not gonna do that because stupid people have have a fucking um, tendency not to feel ashamed over their own fucking idiocy. In fact, most of them are oblivious of it. Yeah, I mean, well, you're a fine example of that. So I'm not, I'm not expecting anything, but I'm just saying you should feel ashamed for being as dumb as you are. Because several times throughout this video, I've specifically said something, and despite you writing a script for this video, reading the script, and then going through the effort of editing it, you still fail to understand what I'm saying, even though like, I'm speaking pretty fucking plainly. Like, I'm not you know, the most eloquent person on the planet. I don't use like the most you know, verbose or Siskipedalian language. I, I'm pretty fucking blunt with a lot of the shit that I say, especially in a video like this where I'm like, you know, I have bullet points, but that's really about it. I, you know, I, I speak extemp extemporaneously throughout this video, so it's not like, you know, I'm, I'm using language that, like, you know, even somebody as stupid as you wouldn't understand. But it, apparently you don't. Apparently you don't fucking understand me. You you understand all the fucking words that I, I use. You just don't. You just can't comprehend the the sequence in which I use them. Yeah, yeah. He, he has low low reading comprehension skills, or just yeah. This is life this is like this is your fucking brain on transphobia and sexism. Yeah, your brain on conservatism, basically. Like I, yeah, I mean, like he'll claim to like you know not be a conservative, but I mean, if you actually look at his values, he is. Okay, your brain on centrism i i i see i see it yeah, oh okay. okay you're you're just like a fucking bigoted centrist okay cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i uh, i i see you there uh uh, uh pepe Pe pepe right yeah there, there we go <laughs> here I'll, I'll i'll put i'll put i'll put the pepe in the corner for, for you there uh combat wombat there there you go all right
character in GTA 5 called Peach, who's a stripper, who's a trans woman. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a stripper. I'm cool with strippers. I think they're neat. You know, if you're a stripper, yeah. you have my seal of approval. I mean, you don't need it. You know, f you care, but rest assured, Swagta thinks you're f***ing neat. You have no idea how much that means to me, Swagta. <laughs> Thank you. The reason I find this to be a harmful... You know what? As an aspiring sex worker uh, uh, on some level, Swagta, that, that means a lot to me. All right? Oh, no. <laughs> Best of luck. Because oftentimes people associate trans women with being, you know, like, scantily clad sexual deviants who, you know, engage in, like, sex work for a living. You know what I find a harmful stereotype? That J just to be clear, by the way, I, I for... For for someone who 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 uh, is dipping my toe into sex work, I, I am actually pretty prudish and uh, <laughs> asexual leaning. I I'm 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 demisexual and I don't like I don't like to fuck around much at all, really. So yeah, F fuck that stereotype. That all southern people are racist, beer drinking, yeehaw, and rednecks who pile drive their cousins. I'm a southern boy myself. Well, guess what? My culture has been absolutely positively fisted by Rockstar. In GTA 5, there are so many redneck stereotypes on display. Good, got fuck this the south. Assuming everyone speaking a different language is speaking Spanish. What's up, I'm I mean. But here's the thing, too, though. Like, even, you know, people in the south in, you know, games by Rockstar, like, they're not all portrayed as, like, slack jawed fucking yokels. See, that's the thing. Like, there's also neutral representation there. That's what you fail to fucking understand. Throughout this video, I even make it clear that, like, what I'm expecting is at least some neutral representation to maybe even things out. Yeah. You have that as a southerner. You do have that. Trans people don't have that in any of these fucking games, or at least GTA V. Yeah. I mean, God, there's a lot... Sure, there's games where, like, rednecks are the villains. There's, like, uh, you know... Uh, your 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 Resident Evil sevens, you know. But then there's games where uh, uh fucking there, there's there's based redneck characters that that are they're fucking awesome. Um, yeah. By the way, I want to retract the fuck the South statement. What I you know what I feel is that like I don't like the South, but I'm I'm just gonna make it clear like you know not all Southerners are bad. Yeah. Just about like ninety nine percent of them. I I really like the 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 redneck dude. Uh, this is the first example I can think of, but I like the redneck dude in the infamous infamous games. He 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 was he was he was a sweet guy. I liked him. Um. But yeah, you know there's 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 good redneck represent representation. Don't don't lie. That's a classic one. You have the O'Neill brothers, all 14 of them, where it's implied incest took place. You have an entire side mission with Trevor where this yeehaw and ironically a Russian immigrant have you hunt down a mariachi band because they think they're illegal immigrants. Cletus, another side mission character, is literally a southern Hey, you know, you know what all of else. those are examples of? Satire. Actual satire. Not the type of satire you fucking imagine. Yeah. By definition, satire. Yeah. That's what they're making fun of. That's what they are. So those are actual examples of, like, Rockstar poking fun at a, at a, at a fucking aspect of, of American culture. Yeah. Yeah, and, and there's actually, like, a critique in there. When it comes to something like, you know, how they uh, represented trans people in GTA V, there's, there's no satire. It's just stereotyping and, and caricatures. Ha ha, man in dress, you need to take more home hormones, lol. What up, mid up? It's like, oops, ooh, you tricked me, fam. It's like, Jesus. Like, like, yeah, what's being said there? That's not, there's nothing subversive there. There's, there's no satire there. It's literally just, just rudeness for the sake of rudeness. O offensiveness for the sake of offensiveness. That's his character. No deep backstory, just a hee-haw. Why is it that you only have a problem with them having a transgender woman be a stripper? Because that is stereotypical. The whole game is full of stereotypes, so why is this one the only harmful and actually offensive one to you? Like, imagine if you Well, as I explain in the video, moron, it has to do with the fact that, like, if there was something beyond stereotypes and caricatures, that'd be cool. That's what I'm getting at. I even stated in the video. Yeah. So, like, I addressed this in the video you're fucking responding to. You fucking nincompoop. He's just gonna pretend that you didn't address all, all the all the things that refute his arguments. Yeah, and he, he's gonna exclude irrelevant evidence as well yeah. later in the video. 
if you're playing GTA 6 and every single black person in the game is nothing more but like a 1930s walking stereotype punchline. Like at some point you would question like, hey, what's up with this? This is kind of f***ed up. Why would they do this? But if you do it with a really small percentage of the population, which is already struggling to attain civil rights, nobody bats an eye. No one bats an eye because it's goddamn GTA and they clown on everyone. It kind of comes with the territory. It's like it's well, all the Well, I just, I just fucking explained the difference. Are you gonna acknowledge it? Are you gonna address it? No, because you don't give a fuck. Either A, you're too fucking stupid to understand what I said, or B, you're dishonest. <coughs> I think it's a little bit of both, actually. I think you're a moron who set out to capitalize on a backlash that I was dealing with, whilst at the same time pretending to be friendly with me. You're not my fucking friend. I look down on people like you. You're stupid and dishonest. I have no reason to respect you. And you're also bigoted, so should have probably seen that coming. True. Damn. S swag going hard, yo. Throw throw that shade, Swag. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Like, go easy on somebody who fucking opposes the rights of women? Fuck this cunt. Fuck him. Will get offended. Okay, so Swag goes on to talk about how no one else has really talked about this issue except him other than a few articles. Then repeats the point that trans characters are just used as a punchline in this game. Then he goes on to say this. And the consequence of this is that Rockstar appeals to a lot of people who actually are transphobic, who actually are homophobic. What? This is literally the same arguments people in the media make saying Rockstar appeals to people who actually want to murder people because you can go on rampages. Following this law- That's not the same argument. No, not really. You know, there's a huge difference in context there. Yeah, like- I mean, you literally showed examples of, of people playing the game and being really transphobic and like... Yeah, which he fucking, you know, it, it just so happened. It just slipped his fucking mind somehow to include that in the video. By the way, I wonder what would happen if I joined a GTA online uh, lobby uh, openly as a trans woman and said, Hi everyone, I'm a trans woman. I, I, I haven't myself, but I have enough trans friends who've played online video games to know that, like, if, if you reveal that you're trans, like, in games like this, you will get a ton of a fucking transphobic hate. Like, I mean, if they just suspect that you're, yeah. like, of any kind of minority. I mean, they, they will, they will, they'll make fun of, like, women who sound a little, I mean, anyone who's a woman who goes into these lobbies, that's another issue. That just going into a woman, uh, as a woman, I'm going to get harassed. But as a trans woman, I'm going to get a extra harassed. And, and, and maybe there's a fucking correlation when, when these games are, 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 have such a flippant attitude towards these things. And, and, and a lot of their fan base does. Like, on some level, like, the, the, the fucking... I, I do believe that artists are responsible for the fan bases that they cultivate. And if they cultivate certain... Uh, uh, harmful, bigoted attitudes, e even if they don't outright uh, uh, condone that sort of thing, if they allow it to go on, it, it does reinforce it. Yeah, or if they just normalize it, yeah. like they did with GTA V. I mean, th that's, you know, it doesn't affect you, so you probably wouldn't fucking understand it, because obviously shit has to be, like, right in front of you to e for you to even, like, acknowledge it. Yeah. Uh, uh, by, by the way, uh, the person who is who is joining me today is is Swagta, for anyone who doesn't know, a uh, uh, famous yeah I'm I'm the person he's YouTuber. uh responding to yeah yeah oh uh, yes yeah, Swagta of YouTube fame yes roll out the red carpet so Swagta who is who is officially responsible for GTA uh, removing transphobia from from GTA Five yeah fucking you know I I dealt single handedly. Huge... A controversy because of that, but you know what? In the end, I fucking won. You, you I did. I prevailed. You did. I got my wish. I got <laughs> my wish. I I like to imagine that someone at Rockstar, because I know Rock the people at Rockstar know about your channel, right? I I, I like. Oh, to, definitely this one. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like. like to I, imagine... I've revealed fucking like you know details that nobody else knew about about like unreleased yeah. games and shit. Yeah. So I I like to imagine that like someone there saw your video and was like, yeah, he's actually got a point. Hell yeah, swag to one. Logic. Rockstar yeah. also appeals to people who are racist. I fucking, I, I cucked you, and uh, by you I mean Combat Wombat. I, I, I fucking cucked uh, Combat Wombat and every single other fucking bigot. Yep. Based. Based. Uh, swag to doing real praxis over here. Fuck yeah. yeah I'm, I'm literally fucking your <laughs> wives in front of you right now. <laughs> Based. Why don't you go cry in the cuck tent, you peon?
sexist, xenophobic, all of that, because Rockstar makes jokes and stereotypes on everything. If you exist, some aspect of you as a person has probably been made fun of in a GTA game. So okay, so then, then point me to, to like a, a single instance of the N-word just being like a punchline in the game, and not like, you know, Lamar fucking uh, playfully calling, uh, you know, Franklin that. I mean, like, just... Yeah. A, an ad on the TV or like a, you know something on the radio where it's just like the N word and that's it and it's just like here's an N word watching you do this. Yeah. Or or a white is there, character is there any equip that goes around calling black NPCs the N word. Yeah. Or just like making r uh, racist remarks. You know, even that. I mean, like, just point me to like any equivalent of any of the shit that I've used as an example. For that in this matter, video. do do they use the F slur? I'm not really sure. Because <coughs> I, I haven't seen any examples of, of the F slur used in the game. <coughs> yeah, I, I'd imagine that, that uh, Rockstar, because as you've said, they have improved with that over the years. I'd imagine they know well enough to like not use that word. And like most people would know, like, yeah, you know, it's not acceptable to, to just go around calling gay people the F slur. You know, it's the same shit. Oh great, we got it. We got another ad. We got another ad on this wonderful video, you know? Ne needs needs like 20 ads. I mean, like I said, this I think this is why he ha like immediately stops me mid argument. He's like, "Well, what's your argument, to, you know, for this?" It's like, yeah. well, "If you just played like 10 seconds or so uninterrupted, like, it's not even a matter of, like, the video getting accidentally claimed or anything. Like, you can play 10 seconds of one of my videos and respond to it bit by bit. Like yeah. I said, it, he immediately pauses and fucking asks this, like, totally unnecessary question over and over again so he can pad out the video and stuff as many ads in it as possible. Yeah. It's just, like, it's just such a slimy, greedy fucking tactic. Oh, there you go. I got someone in my chat. I've experienced people going, are you really female in GTA Online? Yeah, of course. That doesn't even surprise me. I, I've heard lots yeah, of stories about that. Yeah. Gaming, whether this motherfucker would acknowledge it or not, has a problem with bigotry, whether it's against women or trans people or, you know, uh, gay people or yep. black people or anything like that. Like, if, if you're just, like, anything but a white dude, you know, if you don't have that fucking privilege, which, which is exactly what the fuck it is, if you don't have the privilege of being a fucking white guy, a cis white guy, you're going to experience a lot of targeted harassment based on the fact that you're a fucking minority. Yep. And they don't see it. And a lot of times they're on the, the fucking uh, uh, other end of it. And, and they're like, what? What? I don't see all the harassment that they get. Tranny, 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 faggot. Oh, I don't see it. I don't, what? 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 No one gets harassed just for being who they are on the internet. Fucking man in dress. Jesus. Understand laser focusing on the trans joke specifically and saying, yeah, this is the one that's really bad. Either it's all allowed or it's all off limits. You have to pick one. They are wearing crop No, you don't have to pick one. That doesn't even make sense. It's called nuance, motherfucker. It's called nuance. If, oh, it's all allowed. Would you still be saying that if it was the N-word? Oh, maybe you would. Oh, by the way, go ahead and play the, this section. I just want to, I don't remember all the clips that I used, but I do remember, like, a few of them at least. So we'll see what what he uh, omitted. Yeah. Okay. Because bear in mind, like, these are, yeah, yeah, let's see. The tops, high heels, leopard, whatever you want to, cheetah print, basically anything a man should never wear. Hey, honey, why don't you jump in my ride? Okay, I'm pause. Sure. So the, the, the woman in that video, she went on to make multiple homophobic statements. Yeah. Uh... You know, just it just so happened that you just didn't include that. You just, I guess, it slipped your mind. Totally not relevant to the point I'm making or anything. You know, I, I, I fucking, I stated that this is the consequence of normalizing shit like this. Yeah. And then when I provide evidence of that, you omit the relevant fucking details. You omit the evidence that I provided. I wonder why. Because it's not convenient. Yeah. Yeah, because it would totally fucking, I, and I told him, I, I, you know, I said this privately. I'm like, you know, the reason you removed this, as far as I can tell, is because it would have totally invalidated the points you made. 
it would have disproven all the, the counter arguments that you made. Or at least, like, some of them. Yeah. That, that's why he's got to, like, dishonestly edit shit. And, and, and... Yeah. And as soon as I, as I you know, I, I won that argument, you know, and I was civil about it, he just, he became so fucking aggressive. Like, in public, he's all fun and play and just like, oh, I'm just here for banter. But, like, in private, this person is just fucking vicious. So, you know what? I have no hesitation at all when it comes to being vicious publicly. Yeah, I... Because I, I like... this, this person fucking deserves it. Like, the way he treated me privately was fucking disgusting. Yeah. So, you know what? If people think that I'm being too harsh publicly, you know what? Just... I'm not the type of person who leaks DMs. But if I were, you would see why I'm totally justified in, in being as pissed as I am and calling him the shit that I call him. I agree. F fuck, fuck, his, fuck this bitch ass. Dishonest editing. Fucking grifting motherfucker. I look better on my bedroom floor. And, and a transphobe and a, and a misogynist too. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> I think that's a dude. Either that or one of them tricks. Oh, damn. That's what he gets for being such a ass bitch. There you are. <laughs> oh, so there's, okay, so there's an instance of somebody um, actually looking at one of these characters and being and using the F-slur. There was also, um, I, I think one of the clips that he removed was, was somebody specifically just, like, making blatantly. Not You can't even, like, you know, make the argument that they're just being edgy. Like, there's somebody who, like, had anger in their fucking voice when killing these uh, pedestrians in the game, and they're like, you're a fucking man, what are you wearing? And shit like that. Bullshit. <clears throat> yeah. We won. <laughs> yeah, the people in these clips are making edgy jokes. Do they actually think like that, or are they just joking? There's no way to Yes, know. yes. I... Okay, so two, at least like two fucking instances, as far as I can recall, there's probably more, but at least like two of the clips that I mentioned actually prove that. Yeah. They actually prove that some of these people do harbor bigoted views. This and is... you conveniently just left all of that out. Well, th this is what happens when you're so fucking irony poisoned that you're just like, what, what? No, like, it's just jokes. Like, this isn't actually hate. This isn't actually bigotry. And that's why, like, they, they, th this, this motherfucker would, would tell me that, that having fucking, uh, 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 chuds harassing me on the street and yelling at me and tell me I'm never going to be a woman. It's, it's just that's... banter. It's just yeah, banter. It's just jokes. What? That's not like a hate crime. It's just, it's just jokes. Yeah, you know, I, I made a heavily de uh, deceptively edited video where I smeared you and, and fucking, you know, turned my audience against you. But, you know, like, we're, we're cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Swag, we're fucking, we're, we, we get along. And I'm like, no, what you did is not fucking cool. And it actually just made shit worse for me. And here's why. Oh, well, fuck off then. It's like, Jesus. okay. Yeah, you're, you're so fucking... <sighs> Just like the, the persona that you put out publicly is so far removed from the person you actually are. It's, it's just so disgusting. Cringe. I know you're trying to paint this as Rockstar enabling this kind of behavior, but again, that's the same logic Which as the media saying are. that Rockstar just, games enable people to be violent. That's just objectively true. Someone. It's not. I hate this false, equivalen uh, false equivalency shit. And, and and it's it's like oh well, well you're just say it, you're saying that it's bad that it's enabling transphobia so you're also saying that it's enabling violence no because th these games don't fucking th there's nothing in these games that tell you like yes you should be doing this in the real world like yes being violent is 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 okay like th the whole point of the game is 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 for people to like let off steam and not do that shit in real life. But, like, having these fucking transphobic attitudes and, and making trans people the butt, of a, the butt of jokes is, like, it, it's a problem within the culture, within, within, within the fan base and the community. And it's clear that there's a problem. It's, it's, it's not, there's no, first of all, this would only be, like, you, you could only make this argument if, if, if you could somehow show that, Oh, well, um, there is a correlation between, um, people playing GTA and committing violence. It's been proven that there's not a correlation in that. However, uh, Swagta did just prove 
that there is a correlation in people uh, uh, with transphobic attitudes and, and homophobic attitudes having those attitudes reinforced by these games. Yeah, the, the game actually appeals to those kind of people, and I see no necessity for that. There's no nothing to gain from doing that. Like every if anything, it, it if anything, it just normalizes these kind of like horrible fucking points of view in the community. Yeah. And this is something that like a lot of people have experienced. Like plenty of fucking trans people contacted me about this video, and they're like, "Yeah, I've been harassed yep. in fucking lobbies and shit Be because it's just you know people are just like, oh, well, it's just it's just fun. You're just you know having some fun and you know some banter. It's like no." It's, it's fucking, it's totally not fucking cool. Having some fun at the expense of people's mental health. Like, yeah, real cool. <clears throat> That's what it is, though, and they, they don't realize. They don't see the damage that it causes. They don't see the fucking uh, 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 harassment and, 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 and shit that, that trans people get on a daily basis. My God, just for being trans, I, I, I get bullshit just for going on the internet, just for uploading a video or a song. I get a bunch of transphobic garbage just for existing. And like... You know, maybe I want to play video games where I can escape that bullshit. Where I don't have to have that reinforced at me. You know, it's it's bad enough that I that I can't really play video games where I'm visible and I'm seen. At the very least, I want to be able to play video games where I'm not the butt of a fucking joke. Just for just for existing, just for being trans. Because, by the way, the shit where they make fun of rednecks, it's not just making fun of rednecks for being rednecks. It's, it's usually making fun of rednecks for being racist and ignorant. Which, yeah, a lot of them kind of are. All right? Not all of them. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but there tends to be, like, a prevalence of racism in yeah. the South. As a person from the South, I would expect yeah. that even if somebody as stupid and ignorant as you would have been able to, like, fucking take note of this. But then also, there's positive white representation, so that, that that's not even a, an argument he could make. Anyway. Jesus. Let's, let's see if we can actually get through this. Um. A little bit left. When beating up a hooker with a baseball bat. Like, see? We're right. If you think I'm being unreasonable, let me just emphasize. I'm fine with Rockstar making fun of trans people, as long as, like, that's not the only type of representation they have in their games. Okay, name the case. Yeah, okay, pause, 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 pause. So there, I just refuted, like, half his video in a yeah. few seconds. Yeah, pretty much. So, like, so like all, every fucking time that you, you know, made the argument that, like, you know, they make fun of everybody, I just refuted it. Yeah. It, it's fine if they make fun of everybody. The problem is that that's all the, tra like... That's all they're doing when it comes to trans people. That's the argument, you dishonest fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let's let's see him continue to gish gallop and ignore uh, uh, your argument and, and lie about it. Giving positive representation to any of the people they make fun of. There's probably not many cases. I don't recall GTA 5 ever giving the southerner depictions of positive spin. We're not just talking about characters walking around in... They, have they not? I feel like they have. I feel like there's there's there's... Uh, southern characters that aren't just automatic fucking... I don't know, I don't play a lot of GTA games, but I've seen a lot of games where there's southern characters of all kinds. I, Whatever. Okay, I can promise you at the very least there's a neutral representation on occasion. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen at least neutral representation of, of white and southern characters. Yeah. I've played enough GTA to know that. So, uh, yeah, f fuck you. That, that uh, Also, that's all we're talking about. Give us neutral representation for trans people, too. That's it. That's it. Goofy clothing. We're talking about main protagonists in your video game intentionally misgendering a trans person. <laughs> like, that's one of the most personal attacks you can engage in with a trans person. What a shocker. Yep. GTA goes out of its way to be offensive, and it's offensive, and the floor is made out of lava. And it okay, no, it, it just doesn't. It really doesn't, because, like, if that were the case... As soon as, like, you boot up the game, it would have just been, like, a list of fucking, like, offensive terms. Yeah. It, it, you know, like... It, they would have just they played the N-word to... song and, and, and just had a bunch of naked bitches and, I, I don't know, dead babies. Yeah, they, like, they, they would have had, like, you know, you boot up the game and you see, like, you know, a fucking MP4 file of, like, Sam Hauser plays where, like, he, you know, walks up to the camera and he just, like, puts on blackface and he, you know, yeah. he says some, like really fucking racist shit 
Like, they don't go out of their way to offend everybody. Like, th this is the problem when people can't understand nuance and, and, and don't understand satire. And they're just like, what? It's about being offensive. And it's like, you, no, you don't get the joke. You don't get it. Like, you're, you're, you're clearly not, like... You're clearly too stupid to, to, to understand actual funny humor. Yeah, and also, like, throughout this video, I made it clear. Like, I don't have a problem with humor at the expense of trans people. I think the jokes could have been done better. That's my critique. Yeah, honestly, so I'm not look, even opposed. I'm not even opposed to the jokes. I'm just opposed to how fucking, like, recycled and bad they are. Look, as much as I hated uh, 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 Dave Chappelle's uh, special, I'll even admit he made some jokes about trans women that were kind of funny. He did. He made some trans people jokes that were kind of funny. I laughed, all right? I, I, I can laugh at offensive jokes, but that's the thing. Again, like, it's not just, this, this, they don't get what satire is. And so they see something that's offensive and they think, oh, the, the joke here is that it's offensive, right? And and they don't get the nuance and, and the actual fucking, like, what's being parodied. That, like, usually it's something is being said with these jokes. And and, and you have, like, a 12-year-old's understanding of GTA. Haha, <laughs> offensive, lol. Like, it's just offensive, caca, poo-poo, dude. Like... No, it's not I mean, just the, the dude for the has sake of offensive. Like, the dude has a, like a child's <laughs> understanding of like most, if not all, social issues. So it should come to as no surprise that he doesn't even understand my video, even though I made it pretty fucking obvious what I mean. Pretty nuanced too, but again, he doesn't understand nuance. Either. I mean, like for for the sake of people as stupid as him, like this is why I clarified my stance. Yeah. At least like a couple times in this video. See. I'll be honest, fam. I initially watched the vi your video, and I was like, I don't think you went hard enough on Rockstar, honestly. I I, I thought you could you could have gone a little harder, but like people are getting mad because you even fucking said anything. Like Jesus fucking. Yeah, I mean, Christ. like if anything, this video was like not really extending an olive branch, but it was like you know a pretty fucking like light critique of Rockstar, yeah. and people flipped out. Like people who patted me on the back for years for quote unquote speaking my mind and telling it like it is, all of a the sudden, they fucking turn on me en masse because of one video. And to this day, I still get fucking harassment over it. Because cause they don't want you to speak. They don't actually want you to speak your mind and tell you as it is. They, they, they want you to tell them what they already believe. Exactly. And uh, it's, fuck those people. I, 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 I forget, don't need... like, I forget. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I forget who said this first. But, like, there, there's a quote where it's like, um, the best way to lead the people is to follow them. I feel like that applies here. I mean, kind of. Um, but that's why, like, I, I, I don't need, I don't need those kinds of people in my audience. I don't appeal to those kinds of people. If people want to just hear what they already believe, go watch. There, there's a million other channels that'll tell you what you already believe. All right. I'm y'all are here to hear what I think. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I think motherfuckers, even if it pisses some people off, <clears throat> even if it makes people really fucking mad. Let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. This it's sh it's shit heap. I, I want to get through the shit heap. Let's, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to speed it up even more. This, this motherfucker doesn't deserve to be listened to it. I, 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 as a quick side note, just to talk about something kind of fun for a second. I miss that backdrop that I had. That was like, uh, um, the Raven, like the poem and an actual Raven on it. Yeah. yeah it was like a really cool design. It is. So like, I feel like, fun. uh. Yeah, I feel like if I should have had like a you know a colored shirt on instead of like a black shirt because it like it would have been a better contrast. But aside from that, I feel like the backdrop's pretty fucking cool. Hell yeah! All right, let's uh, let's keep watching. Again, when you do never you more to people who actually are bigoted, it sucks. I know trans people, and I know that like some of them actually play Grand Theft Auto V. Some of them love the game, and I can only begin to imagine how it feels when like you. And by the way, when I said some of them, I was referring well. to um. To you and another person, and both of you actually contacted me after I put out this video, and yeah, I was totally right about it. Yeah. And again, like I don't play GTA as much, but like I've played a lot of other games where I've seen shit like that, and and it's 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 annoying. And 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 it's nice to 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 see someone actually fucking calling this shit out. And, and, and cause like it, it, it does suck to not be represented in, in games and it sucks that the only time you are represented is as a fucking joke. And that, that that's yeah, why and I also... had such a big problem with fucking family guy for so long.
Because, like, even I mean, like, when it, they tried to do good, it, it's just it's just stupid fucking man in dress jokes. Yeah, pretty much. But, like, I also want to point out that as much as, sh- as, much shit as I got, I, I'm convinced. I am, like, I, I'll promise you, if you or, like, any other trans person were to, like, make the same video that I did, you would have, like, seen ten times the amount of backlash that I got. Well, yeah, I, mean, like, it, I, I had people like I, I had people like spamming me like pictures of dead kids for fucking multiple days. Jesus. Yeah, they were like, you know, here's like a bunch of pictures of like dead toddlers on like autopsy tables. Jesus fucking Christ. F- uh, God, yeah, that's disturbing. Yeah, and this motherfucker just exacerbated that shit with this fucking video. Whether he intended to or not, he knew the consequences. He knew that I was dealing with a huge backlash, and he just added to it. Yeah, um, I'm. You know, some days I'm I'm sad I don't have more exposure, and then other days I'm like, oh god, I'm I'm a uh, I'm not missing much, am I? Jesus. <laughs> it, it is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Yeah, God. Uh, uh, still though, guys, spread this shit around. Share this stream. Fucking dude, hell yeah. Spread the yeah. opium. If, if anything, spread it for the sake of positivity. Because I, I feel like a lot of people were uh, spreading this video because they're like, oh, you know, let's gang up on this person. Yeah. Fuck that. And nobody says a f***ing thing about it. I have no doubt that they can handle it. If they can't, then GTA probably isn't the type of game for them because it throws punches at and tries to offend everyone, like we've gone over. Southern people in my case, I mean, atheists Okay, okay like we've you- gone over, and I've already addressed this point multiple times preemptively. Like... Y- you played clips of me refuting the argument you just made, moron. Yeah. he He's literally just padding out this video, like, repeating himself multiple fucking times and just, like, taking your arguments out of context so he can repeat the same bad arguments and ignore your refute. Like, it's, it's so fucking... And it's so obvious, like, it's just it's longer for the ad revenue. Like, God. I love you. You, you love, that's, right, you. that's all I can hear in my head when I'm listening to this guy's fucking annoying voice. <laughs> the people are these delicate little that, that are like fake Sagan. You know, I don't know if you remember that, but it's like, you know, hello, greetings, citizens of the motherfucking YouTube. <laughs> God. Yeah. Like, imagine living with this motherfucker. Imagine, like, having to listen to this person's voice on a day to day basis. I hope he's a fucking hermit. <laughs> Damn break at the slightest touch, that can't handle a joke at their expense. And Swaita isn't the only person who does this, a lot of people do, and I don't get it. They don't need you or anyone else. No one said that trans people are are fragile and break at the slightest joke. Yeah. It's, it's... I, I never said that. Yeah, clearly that's not the thing. The thing is that we get fucking so much shit from every fucking direction that it can be kind of fucking tiresome sometimes. And a lot of people just want to fucking fucking uh, uh, kick back and unwind with a fucking video game and not have to deal with more of that shit. The only assumption that I ever made in this video about like how people feel is uh, when it came to the people that I know yeah. personally. I made an assumption there. Maybe I shouldn't have, but you know, in either case, I was actually spot on. So I'm not even fucking wrong. Yeah. Else to protect them or get offended for them. Let them decide what's offensive and how to react to it on an individual. By the way, I hate that attitude. Oh, why do you need to white knight for trans people and get offended on their behalfs? Actually, it's M- called, it's maybe called... it's. Uh, yeah, it, it's called fucking cooperation and solidarity. It's, yeah. It's called standing up for other people and fucking like you know, opposing injustice when you see it. Like it doesn't have to just affect me for me yep. to take exception to it. Yep. Same reason. I, I have this thing called empathy where I can look at like another person struggling or feeling some kind of pain and I feel for them. And I'm going to speak out about it because that's just the type of motherfucker I am. Damn. E- maybe empathy. you're not. What, what's yeah, what's empathy? Maybe you're not, but <laughs> God forbid you, you fucking empathize with somebody else's uh, you know, challenges. No, we all got to empathize with the with the cranky uh, uh, cis white dude gamer bros who are mad because uh, there's less offensive shit in their video games. Those are the only people that deserve empathy. Individual basis. If you're going to assume that, for example, Southern people can handle being joked about and stereotyped in a video game without melting, or that if they can't handle it, they can deal with it themselves without you needing to defend them, then why don't you treat transgender people the same way? It comes across like you think... I never claimed that anybody, like, needs me. 
this is something that I fucking chose to do yeah. because I found the fucking jokes to be in poor taste. And I, like I said, I think they could have been done better. That's the point of this video. But also, uh, rednecks aren't like a vastly underrepresented minority that get nothing but shit. Um, yeah, there, it's not. It's not like people are like passing legislation where they're like, you know, if somebody's a redneck and you know they're, they're like a part of a sports team in high school, you know, we're gonna pass this law where like, you know, they're. There's going to be, like, an obligated fucking, like, genital inspection on all rednecks. <laughs> this is something that actually happens to, like, trans kids now. Yep. So, like, you know, we're talking about a marginalized group. Rednecks are not fucking marginalized. Yeah, they're, you know, the, the butt of a lot of jokes. And you can take exception to that if you want, depending on the fucking joke. And, you know, how, how it's balanced out. But, uh, you know, there's a pretty big difference between, like, making fun of people from the South and ruthlessly just, like, making fun of a marginalized fucking group of people yeah. without even any neutral representation to balance that out. And by the way, th there is normally a difference. Not always. Sometimes the line is blurred. But normally, it's not just making fun of people from the South, but it's making fun of people from the South who are racist and ignorant yeah, and it... backwards. Which is a prevalent thing in the South. So, you know, when, when it comes to satire, it actually applies there. Yeah. That is a valid form of satire in my mind. Yeah, it is. Because it's not, it's not just attacking you like, ha-ha, you're from the South. It's like, hey, there's a lot of fucking ignorant, stupid people in the South. And, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And the South is like a hellhole for people like me. So, oh, definitely. I mean, like, definitely. This is why they fucking, it's hard to like interrupt so often, but like, I have a lot to Go say ahead. about this. But, you know, this is like why they had, um, you know, like a southerner, you know, rounding up, uh, you know, immigrants or like illegal aliens, as he calls them. You know, that's a fucking critique of that being a thing in the South. That actually happens. That's a real life thing. Yeah. And see, that's the thing. Like, if they had like a like a, a quest line or something where it was like, um, I don't know, you're 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 like, I don't know, moving a bunch of like you you, 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 you moving a bunch of cargo, and then you find out it's a bunch of uh, trans women that are being sex trafficked, and it's a critique on how uh you know something you know like. Just, just give us something. Give us satire. Give us some kind of... Say something. If you're gonna fucking uh, address trans issues, say something. Say something with it. That's all we're asking. If you're gonna make a joke, say something. Because no, jokes is not just, haha, I'm offensive. It's like when people are like, I like edgy uh, humor, and you're like, okay, like what? And it's just like straight up racism. Yeah. You know? It, it, yeah. Okay, okay, wow. Wow, okay, okay. and I'll, I'm supposed to just be cool with that. Right. Is there anything else to this video? Not really. I think he just pads out the video for, like, more ads. Personal attacks based on this characteristic. What are you saying? Did you know that in San Andreas, if you eat too often, the main character CJ would turn into Big Chungus, and he would talk about food all the time, make fat jokes, and his voice changed to sound like he had four extra chins? I'm big, but I ain't slow. Can I get a pizza uh, over here? That, that's, I don't know, that's kind of problematic. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, and you know, I, I would point out that like there's a pretty fucking big difference between like fat jokes and how GTA Five handled uh, representation for trans people. I think there's a pretty fucking big difference between like I, these two examples. Look, I will say, I think, setting aside how you feel about it, I think know? they lean a little too heavy on the fat jokes. Honestly, I, I I think they do, and I think that's something they could they could maybe work on. Like I. It, it's like let's just just fucking like set aside like whatever you think is funny like can we just admit like fat jokes are, are tired and like like really played out and like not original like at all like making fun of someone for being heavier than most people for for ha like is that like is that really the height of comedy like I don't get me wrong it can be done in a funny way but like it's it's like he just wants the same like five jokes over and over again he doesn't want comedy to evolve like that's the that's the thing these fucking conservatives they, they don't like that comedy evolves and it should society evolves and it should we should grow and get better as people 
We should we should grow and learn and understand more and become more empathetic. Our, our society and 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 that's that's why it's good. Our society is becoming more empathetic, and 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 these people are literally just mad about that. Because shit like this is proof that, like, yeah, our society is getting more empathetic. Uh, uh, companies like Rockstar Games are realizing the effects, the negative effects that their uh, uh, jokes can have on on certain people, and they're like, yeah, you know what? Let's 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 be a little more mature. Let's 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 be less uh, less less uh, offensive just for the sake of offensiveness, and let's you know try to actually say something with our human, and that's good. That's good. And, and, and as long as people are, are, are growing and becoming better, you're always going to have these uh, anti-intellectual fucking dipshits dragging their heels along, fucking reeing and screaming because their, their same uh, schoolyard bully humor isn't, uh, is, isn't as widely accepted in the pop culture anymore. And, and, and so they're somehow uh, oppressed now. Like, it's, it's fucking pathetic. And yeah, I don't think there's anything more to this fucking video. This this is a, a yeah, worthless video. I just want to point video. out. I just want to point out one last time. At the beginning of the video, he's like, you know, nobody fucking go harass White Tom. But then he proceeds to make like, a, what is it like an eleven minute? How long is this video? It's like fucking seventeen minutes. minutes. Yeah, it's like a seventeen minute uh, long video where he just like smears and misrepresents me. But like, don't attack him. It's like okay, yeah, you were so noble and fair and balanced. Totally fair and balanced, just like uh, just like Fox News. I don't know if if you want to like uh, put up like a highlight of us responding to that video. Go ahead, because like I don't think I'm gonna do it on my channel, but you have my blessing, and I fucking I I'd be totally fucking down for that. And people have been asking me for a long time to make a video response to him, so I guess this this will uh, suffice. I don't, well, yeah, you... I don't feel like I should dedicate, you know, more than the amount of time that we spent, you know, responding to this, making a, a like an edited yeah. response to him. I don't, I don't feel like it's worth it. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll make an effort to at least clip out the, this segment. I, I won't go hard on editing it or whatever. I'll just, just upload it as, as a segment. But we'll end it yeah. by saying fuck combat wombat, fucking dishonest, fucking uh, piece of shit, uh, grifter, liar, um, you suck. <laughs> Also, I just want to remind you, Combat Wombat, I fucking won. True. Damn right. Swag to fucking won. Yeah, the next time you boot up GTA 5, like, you know, years from now, if you get GTA 5 again, and, and you just can't find these NPCs in the game, and you just can't find all these jokes, remember me, bitch. Yeah, ne next time you get an itch to go on a, 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 a transphobic killing spree, you know? You, you got swag to, to thank. No more. No more. Uh, Never more. Base. No trans bitches? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus.